I've made lots of mistakes in the past buying the wrong gear. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my current $5,000 setup so you can go ahead and not make the same mistakes I did on purchasing the wrong things, especially with lighting because it does get a bit confusing. So make sure you stay tuned to the end and you will see everything I currently run in my setup. Let me ask you quick, what is the next piece of gear you're looking to update on your setup? Post comments down below. I'll go ahead and heart the best ones and let's do it. Here's a quick look at everything, and I'll kind of go stuff in a little more detail in a moment. Let's go ahead and just pan over everything just to get an idea of the setup. And then I do have a mattress against the wall. They're actually blocking the window, which helps with my lighting. Here we go, let's go ahead and jump in everything and I'll show you what we got here. The chair is actually just a generic chair. And I also bought some cushioning to make it a little more comfortable. So it's just one off Amazon. I don't have that linked, I believe, down below, but everything else should be linked below with my Amazon affiliate links. So if you'd like to use them, it would mean a lot, but if not, no worries. We have two monitors here. The one on the right is my gaming monitor. That's a Dell Alienware. 240 hertz monitor remember if you ever do purchase a 240 monitor you also need a display port cord or if you don't have that it's just going to display at 60 hertz that ran around 350 dollars then the one on the left is an asus 27 inch that's more around 160 it's a 60 hertz monitor and then we have our keyboard we want the logitech orion 80810 the mouse is G502, Logitech again. I have my stream deck. Basically, it makes it easier to hit certain buttons if you want to go ahead and just go to the next thing. Underneath, I have the Cougar extended mouse pad. And then on top, I have a Logitech hard mouse pad. I think it's a 460. It just, the cloth was too, wasn't working for my mouse, so I added that, and it does help a lot with the setup. The microphone I went with is the Blue Yeti. It's right here. I also added the pop filter. I think this is the best pop filter because you can just connect it that way instead of going through and having another thing in your way. It's nice and close to it. Also, I went with the Blue ar Boom Arm which is more expensive, but it'll last longer. The other ones kind of fall apart after a while. They last maybe about a year, but they're only about $15. This lasts real well, but it's more in like the $100 range. So it's up to you what you would like. Uh, down below, got my Battle Ultimate Cyber Power PC. It's pretty insane. I'll put the specs on it so we can get a decent side angle here. Runs very well. I like it. I like it. <laughs> uh, so I'm just for my feet. <laughs> uh, I got a hard mat. I need a new one because the one I purchased here is terrible. So I'm not going to recommend that. For the camera, we got the Canon SL2. Like it a lot. You're probably asking why there's eyes there. That's just to go ahead and encourage me to look into your eyes when I'm doing film. Anytime I'm doing a video, I wanna make sure I'm looking at the audience and that kind of reminds me, hey, there's people on the other side there. Look at the camera. <laughs> Here's from the other side of the camera. We're basically inside the ring light right now. <laughs> The camera has a nice kit, so you can go ahead and get all the pieces together. So I recommend that. Even though you might not use them all, there's a lot that you'll find. Oh, I need that. Oh, I have it. Great. Over here, I got the Lemetric Wi-Fi clock. It's really nice. You can do certain things. The best things that I like about it is keeps your YouTube count, subscriber count. And I also have it flash with my Twitch followers as well. If you didn't know, I am over on Twitch. If you want to follow me, it's just twitch.tv slash Kevin Smack. We have 3,341 right now. 
99 problems. That's my battle royale hat. Got the llama, little smack. And then we got some plushies we got on eBay. They're not easy to find these pillows, believe it or not. You would think someone would sell them, like Twitch or YouTube, but they're hard to find. Got my Skull Trooper for Christmas. My Archer from Clash Royale days. Got a cool light in the corner. I tried to find it, but it's no longer available. So I can't link it, unfortunately. I just have a sheet over it, so it's not as bright. Down below, we do have a green screen. That is a green screen. So this is the Elgato green screen. I do recommend it. I bought other ones. Pull it up. And there you go. If you ever need a green screen in a hurry, it helps so much. And then all you do is go back to the top and then push it down. You go that way, you go that way, and then we're closed. And boom, there we are. Number one, Victory Royale. And there we have the gear. We do have a ring light here. This is the ring light I recommend. I've bought other lights. I've bought lots of lights, lots of lights. And a ring light is what I definitely recommend. So make sure you grab one of those if you are doing lighting. It's nice to have stuff in the background too. I don't have a light that offsets me because it seems to work pretty well alone, but I do have the uh, other lights in the back here just to kind of give it a little more flair. I hope you enjoyed my little setup tour. I hope to redo a room in the basement basically and create my own studio one day as long as this keeps going well. If you want to check out a video about how much I make, I'll post it right there. Go ahead and click on it and we can continue to hang out. I'll see you over there.